uh, welcome back. Uh, while you were gone, I took the liberty to continue on with the XAML and complete the uh, the triangles, the rectangles, sorry, the triangles and the speakers. Um, didn't want to waste your time. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll do a quick recap of what I did. So going back to Blend, um, there's the finished product. I'll enlarge so that you can see. So what I did was um, to create these triangles. I used the pen tool and I just created points like this and just very, um, manipulated the uh, rotation of it to get it looking the way that they are and in this case I, in, in the, this case here I created two of these and so if you look here I created two of these this two paths and I grouped them together in the same canvas called a path backwards and this one paths forward I just cop then I copied this canvas and rotated it to give this copy forward path forward and then the pa path for pause just two rectangles um, and group those and then the path play which is not visible so if I hide the path pause and show the path play it's just a single rectangle a triangle sorry on its side so that's just using paths now for the speakers what I've used is again the pen tool and maximize this and just painstakingly used it to point out the corners of the speaker once I did that I called this a speaker left copied it and made another copy on the right speaker right and I gave them special names so that I could animate them or work with them in JavaScript if I choose to later. So that's it. That's the generated control. I'll set this back to 100%. And I'm ready to take that XAML and paste it into my project. So what I'll do is I'll just take a copy of that XAML and go to my playpen and go into and create a new canvas I'll call this new, uh, new item and I'll call it media control as soon as it loads up and I'll just make it of type text or XML there's one here I'll call this media control dot XAML all I should do have to do is really just paste the contents of that in here. Uh, going back to blend, something I forgot to mention is what you might need to do is ensure that it it generates it as XAML, which is compliant with Silverlight. Um, I'll have to get back to you on where I actually set that, but it's somewhere in here. So anyway, so going back to Visual Studio and the canvas name is called canvas control 4 and what I'll do now is I'll reference that in to my template project so this is the wireframe as it stood at the end of the last blog posting so what I want to do is I want to replace this with my silver light control so going into a code page as soon as it loads it's very slow um, so today was the very first time I created anything in Silver um, Blend um, using the new XAML form format and I'll tell you now it's it sounds very powerful to me it seems very powerful to me especially if I could script anything in the image so this here is the current template I made a copy of the previous one and what I'll do is it references create silver light so what I'll do is extend the silver light and make another copy of the original one I'll call this create Silver light control 4 and I'll wire it up to the media control it's got a width of 260 and a height of... what was that height? A height of 60 so it's already set correctly width of 60 and on load of 
we have four. Hmm. Radio control four. So what I'm gonna go into here and unload this here is gonna call unloaded four, so I have to make sure that that's defined. Unloaded four. And that's going to assign to a globally available control, should I need it later, called 4. And now, all I need to do is call this in the it's a script. It's very intuitive, especially if you're especially if you're a seasoned DHTML coder, it, it all just makes sense. So it calls this JavaScript function, and if I've done everything right, it should load it into here. Cross my fingers. Oh, it's so, it's so slow. Well, that loads up. Oh, here it goes. Oh, it's loading. Let me just check that it's all correct. That's correct. This hook, SL4, that's correct. Oh, main div. So this needs to be the container for, which is div control for. Uh, that's not work. So therefore I have to change as soon as it loads. That will fail. Here, so I'll change this to div control 4. Save that. See it's empty because it didn't let there you go. Sweet! The play and the pause are both enabled so maybe um, what I'll do is I'll go back to blend and set the both sh to visible and just set the play, uh, the pause, the pause to visibility hidden, and just copy that entire XAML as is back to my project. This is so powerful. And run the thing. Woohoo! There it is. That's my first single I control. Now I'm not going to wire it up yet. What I'll do is I'll wire that up in some future posting later, once I get all the entire GUI done for all my Silverlight controls and my Ajax controls. Um, yeah, that's it. My first media control done. I'll see you in my next posting.